Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, I've got my favorites from this week's Bring Home the Bounty, so stay tuned. And hey, if you find that you like our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Yesterday started week two of Bring Home the Bounty, and I'm here today to give you my favorite finds from yesterday. And, yeah, talk a little bit about where you can find them, what's pre-order, what's not, prices, and all of that fun stuff. Now, of course, what I cover is only a small fraction of what releases each week, but like I did last year with Bando Monday, I like to highlight the things that I think are totally rad. But anything I talk about can be found online. I will put links to things in the description of the video. And if you want to see more things, visit StarWars.com and click on their Bring Home the Bounty section. And that'll list most of what was released, but not all. But I'll talk about that as I'm kind of giving you my top three favorites this week. So yeah, let's do it. We are going to start with number three. Number three is this necklace from Rocklove. It is a Darksaber Kyber Crystal Necklace. It's artisan brass cast, black rhodium plated, and it's a graphite crystal. Now the chain is 20 to 24 inches adjustable, and it gives millimeters. So it says 46 millimeters by 17 by 17 for the size. I'm going to have to look that up, guys, and see what that conversion is, because I'm not sure. But... It's really cool. I think it's really pretty. They also have a full Kyber Crystal Necklace collection. They have a new Ahsoka one. They have Rey, Kylo Ren, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. So all kinds of really, really cool Kyber Crystal Necklace. Cost on these is $150. Now the quality on Rock Love Jewelry is just, it's great quality. So that's probably about a standard price. I believe the Grogu one that they did last year was about 135 if I remember correctly. So 150 for this necklace is not out of the question. If you want to order this, it is estimated to ship around October 25th. So guys, what did you think of that? I think it's really cool. I haven't ordered it yet, but it is limited edition, so I gotta get on that. But it's on my wish list. I just, I gotta decide, you know? can't buy it all. I'd love to, but can't buy it all <laughs> because I did pre-order the next item. So coming in at number two, it is the Mandalorian Bandai Spirits Meisho Movie Realization Action Figure. Look at him, guys. How cool is that? It's Ronin Mandalorian and Grogu, and Ronin Mandalorian is in Beskar armor. Size on this deluxe collector's action figure is 6.5 inches and then it comes with a Grogu that's in scale. So it's probably going to be about the size of the Black Series Grogu, probably about an inch and a half to two inches tall. But look at the details on him guys. How cute is that face? He is so stinking adorable I can't stand it. But it also comes with some accessories comes with a rifle, a blaster, a jetpack, two pairs of hands, a sword, a scabbard, and the pram inside a wooden pushcart inspired from the samurai era of Japanese history. It's just, I think this is a beautiful piece. I actually pre-ordered this. It's not releasing until May 1st. It is available for pre-order on Amazon. I will put that link in the description of the video. Cost on this item is $140, which, you know, when you look at it and the detail, and it's a Bandai. I actually have the SH Figuarts figure from Bandai, and yeah, the detail on it is amazing, guys. So let me give you one more look at this little Grogu, because he's just, he's so unique. I just, I could not pass this one up. So I cannot wait till May to get my little guy and his little big Samurai Mando. Now guys, that's number three and number two, and now it's time for an honorable mention. This actually became available for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse a couple weeks ago, I think now, and it is this. Check it out, guys. 
It's a George Lucas in Stormtrooper disguise. This is a re-release Black Series figure. I actually love George Lucas. He's one of my heroes, so I could not pass this one up. It was $26.99 on Hasbro Pulse. It has since sold out on the Hasbro Pulse website, but it is still available on Entertainment Earth. Now on Entertainment Earth, they say it has a March 2022 release, but I recently got an email directly from Hasbro Pulse saying that there were some unexpected delays and the March date's not gonna happen and the new expected release date is May 1st. Looks like with that May 1st release and the May 1st release of the number two item that I just talked about, I'm gonna have a really, really good May the 4th this year. What do you guys think? Okay, now back to my top three. We are at number one, guys. And number one was actually something that was not listed on the StarWars.com website, but it was released yesterday during Bring Home the Bounty. And guys, we've got another itty bitty. Look at this cute little Grogu itty bitty in his little Santa hat and Santa suit. He is so adorable. This is from Hallmark. They have the Itty Bitties collection. He costs $7.99. He is available at least at the time of filming this on the Hallmark.com website. And if you belong to the Hallmark Crown Rewards thing, all you have to do is sign up, guys. It's free. There's no cost on it. He actually ships for free. So, really super cute. I was really excited to see another itty bitty come out this year. I hope they come up with more because I used them to decorate my tree last year, guys, because I have two of the other ones. So, looking forward to seeing if Hallmark comes out with anything else during the Bring Home the Bounty celebration. Now, that's it for my top three favorites, guys. Just a couple other little things. Like I mentioned, I found that itty bitty on Hallmark.com. There are other sites like Hallmark, you have Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Target, Shop Disney that actually do release things on the day of Bring Home the Bounty. So not everything is highlighted on the StarWars.com website. So that's another part of my job here with these videos, guys, to kind of go along and find some other fun things for you that aren't listed. So yesterday on my lunch break at work, I did all kinds of research to see what I could find where. And those were just my top items on that. Now there was also vintage action figures announced. There's a company called Barefoot Dreams that makes really high quality and really expensive blankets and robes. A couple of those things were announced. I looked on Shop Disney. There was a couple new, I think, Grogu clothing items, but nothing I found totally spectacular. But I got one more honorable mention, guys. Check it out. There is a 13 and a half inch Boba Fett talking action figure. That's kind of like the Mandalorian one that I have. How super cool is he? So I'm kind of debating on whether I want to get him or not. I, what do you guys think? Do you want to see a review of him? Let me know in the comments below and I will think about picking one of those up. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. So we're only two weeks in out of 12. There's a lot of stuff still coming. This week was kind of disappointing to me. I know I found three things that I loved, but I'm really, really hoping for more Grogu stuff come closer to Christmas. Guys, come on, more Grogu. I know it's Bring Home the Bounty and all of Star Wars, but you can't fight the baby you to love, right guys? But we'll just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right guys? We'll see you later.